Hey there, you're watching Wildflower Video Tips. I'm Lindsay Mo, and today I'm going to show you how to create your own custom keyboard shortcuts in Adobe Premiere Pro. It's no secret, I love keyboard shortcuts. I have created a video all about my favorite ones already. And if you head to our website and sign up for our email list, I give you a beautiful graphic that will show you all of my top keyboard shortcuts that you can use and remember when using Adobe Premiere Pro to help you save tons of time. But today I'm going to show you how to create your own custom keyboard shortcuts. These are great because not everything comes preset with a keyboard shortcut. And since they save so much time, if you have a task that you're doing over and over again that doesn't already have one, you can create one and start saving even that much more time. So before I get started, I would love to have you hit subscribe right below here. That makes sure that you never miss another video from me. I'm here every Tuesday and I love sharing these tips with you. Definitely let me know if there is anything you want me to cover and I'll try to do that in a future video. But other than that, let's go ahead and get started. Creating a custom keyboard shortcut is really easy. What we're going to do is we're going to go up to Premiere Pro and select keyboard shortcuts. You can see there is a keyboard shortcut for getting to keyboard shortcuts, but I wanted to show you just how to get there. And what that brings up is this color-coded keyboard showing all of your existing keyboard shortcuts. I don't use all of these in what I do, but you might, and you just wanna make sure that you're not overwriting anything that you would use commonly. One thing that I do not have a keyboard shortcut for that I would like one is creating a new legacy title. I'm doing that a lot, and I think it would save me a lot of time to have a shortcut for it. So what I can do is I can either search in this box for legacy title, or if you look down here, it starts out with some of the more commonly used tools in the program and then goes into the menu items and on and on into a lot of different things that you're probably not even using and don't need a keyboard shortcut for. So I know that what I want is under file, new, legacy title. And to create my shortcut, I'm going to click under shortcut here where you can see some other shortcuts exist right across from legacy title. And it brings up this little blue box. Now what I can do is choose what I would like my shortcut to be. I am going to use command H and all I need to do is make sure that box is highlighted and press command H. And now I have set a keyboard shortcut for that. You can see if I click here and press Command H, it gives me a little warning letting me know that I already have a shortcut using that. And I can go ahead and delete that. But I'm going to leave it on legacy title and make sure you hit OK to save it. As I showed you just now, if you decide you want your shortcut to be something else or you want to delete that, you can just click on it again and press the little X and it will disappear. That's it, this is so easy to do. I really hope you'll give it a try. Before you go, I would love to have you give this video a thumbs up and hit subscribe right below here so you never miss another video from me. I'm here every Tuesday with a new video. And if you have anything you want me to cover in future weeks, definitely let me know in the comments down below or go ahead and join our Facebook group, which I have also linked down below, and let me know there. Otherwise, thanks so much for being here, and I'll see you next time.